One question that I get asked often is, how will we as believers be happy in heaven with the knowledge of loved ones in hell? I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about that from a reasoned perspective using the scriptures. Instead of thinking with our emotions, we need to think according to the truth of God's word. While it is extremely painful to even consider that some of the people we care about may make the choice to reject Jesus and spend forever without the favor or goodness of God in hell, we still need to look at it from the perspective of God's truth. So I'd like you to think about a few things. First of all, the Bible tells us in 2 Peter 3, 9, that God is not willing that any should perish, but that everyone would come to repentance. So we know for a fact that God does not want people to go to hell. Additionally, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4, says that God desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, we know that holy, infinitely wise God does not desire, does not want anyone to enter hell. And yet the Bible makes clear throughout that many, many people will end up in hell by rejecting the offer of salvation found in Jesus Christ. So God himself does not want people in hell, and yet God knows and has spelled out in his word that many people will end up there. I want you to consider that first. Then I want you to consider the fact that God has joy. Not so much even that he has joy, but I want you to realize that unlike humans, God is altogether complete. He is self-sustaining. He's the creator of the universe. Nobody created him. And he has everything within his own being that he needs to exist and to function with holiness, with perfection. That is why James 1.17 tells us that with God, there is no change. Now, God cannot change because if he were to change, that would mean that there would be something left in God's character to tweak, to make better than it already is. But you see, God already has completeness of every attribute. He is altogether holy. His love is a perfect love. His justice is a perfect justice. And his joy is a perfect joy. God always has had perfect joy and always will have perfect joy. And yet, even though he doesn't want people to go to hell, he knows that some will. And he maintains perfect joy. John chapter 15, verse 11. Jesus said, these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you. The joy of Jesus Christ, the joy of God, God longs to give to us. In Matthew 25, 23, Jesus is talking about people who trust in him as Savior, who serve him. And he says, one day, I will say to you, enter into the joy of your master. That's right. God has perfect joy. Matter of fact, Psalm chapter 16, verse 11, verse 11 says, God, in your presence, there is fullness of joy unhindered joy, unbroken joy, joy without an ounce of incompleteness. 
And the psalmist goes on to say, at your right hand, there are pleasures forever. In God's presence is fullness of joy. My friend, if God is the perfect being, which he is, and if every attribute of his, including joy, exists in perfection, without any need of tweaking or being more than it is, if God has perfect joy and he also wants everyone to come to salvation and not go to hell, and yet he also knows in his infinite foreknowledge that many will go, then we can understand that God must know something that we don't know about the reality of hell and about how he deals with humans in true rightness. He doesn't want them to go to hell, but he's able to maintain perfect joy with the knowledge of the fact that people will end up there. I want you to know something. The Bible says that God, in his presence, there's fullness of joy. The psalmist wrote there that, God, you make known to me the path of life. That we as Christians, as believers in Jesus Christ, are on the way to that fullness of joy. The Bible says that when we see Jesus, we will be like him because we will see him as he is. When we get to heaven, we will have glorified and sinless bodies. We will finally lay eyes on God and we will be like he is. We will be conformed completely into his image. And if he, even now, knowing everything that he knows, is able to maintain perfect joy, then my friend, so will we. Not because of ourselves, but because of him. We don't have perfect understanding, but God does. And I rest in his understanding and in the revelation of his word to us. When we reason from the word of God, when we reason from truth and listen to the Holy Spirit, we realize that somehow, some way, when we are in his presence, we will be okay with and maintain perfect joy, even though we're still aware of the existence of hell and those who have rejected Christ Jesus. Meanwhile, let us also adhere to the truth of his word and proclaim Jesus Christ to as many as we can Continue to tell them about salvation. Continue to pray. May God bless you.